come close to proving fraud or that any fraud has taken place. There's no fraud here. There's no crime here. This is four weeks of keeping me from not campaigning. Jonathan Turley can't imagine any competent lawyer would not be embarrassed by what has happened in this courtroom. This day is truly going to go down as a day of infamy for the New York legal system, which is true. The whole world is laughing now at the New York weaponized legal system. Watching this unfold in that courtroom as a lawyer is really deeply disturbing. They keep on referring to these documents. The documents don't move the ball. The documents show that the NDA and a payment that is not in dispute, there, this is a total, this is Jonathan Turley. They're not unlawful, and as a federal campaign contribution, there is absolutely no problem. There's no problem here. You know, the FEC wrote this off. FEC, the Elections Commission, Federal Elect Elections Commission, they looked at this years ago, and they took a pass. They said, there's no problem here. Tim Scott, objective is to keep Trump off the campaign trail. That's all they're trying to do, keep him off the campaign trail. Here's the New York Times that just came out a little while ago, where we're leading in every state, in every, the five key states, we're leading very substantially, I might add. So it's all, a, it's really a very sad day for the country. It's sad for New York. I mean, New York, that a, a judge who's highly conflicted at a level that nobody's seen before can possibly, just think of it, and you should go out and check it out. But we have a corrupt judge, and we have a judge who's highly conflicted, and he's keeping me from campaigning. He's an appointed New York judge. He's appointed. You know who appointed him? Democrat politicians. He's appointed. He's a corrupt judge, and he's a conflicted judge, and he ought to let us go out and campaign and get rid of this scam. Every single legal analyst, even CNN, even MSDNC, they're saying, there's no case here. Thank you very much. When's the next time you'll be on the campaign trail instead of mingling with wealthy donors? All right, a rather angry defendant uh, saying there's no case here. And for the record, although we certainly have people uh, such as Mr. Brennan uh, on our panel here who are arguing that this is not a strong case. Uh, it's certainly not the view of CNN per, per se that there is no case here. Uh, we are discussing uh, the qualities uh, of the case, uh, the good, the bad. There's disagreement. We do have people who are on Mr. Trump's side on this. Um, oh, well.